Welcome back to the super channel. This is Super Pimp. Now I'm gonna show you how I get all my mod dependencies to work with what mods that I'm using in my list. Uh, I've been talking about putting this video on for a minute and when I got it refined down to where uh, somebody could be able to follow it as a tutorial. I'm trying to make sure that it works for everybody that's gonna be viewing. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead with what I have here. If you have any questions, again, leave them in the comments and I, I will answer them. I answer, I try to answer every question. I don't care if it's 100,000 of them. Just ask me and we'll get it going for you. And bear with me. All right. Now, earlier I put out a video about three weeks ago of how to get Cyber Engine Tweaks to work and I couldn't do it with the brand newest one. So I went on ahead and used Cyber Engine Tweaks version 1.29.1 so you're gonna have to have that mod to be able and have it going to be able to do what I'm showing you how to do now all right you're gonna need cyber engine tweaks version 1.29.1 you're gonna need red 4 ext version 1.24.1 I mean dot zero and you're gonna need tweak XL 1.8.1 uh, you're going to need Red Mod TI Games 128 Unified Mods Description 1.5.3. You're going to need Archive XL 1.12.1. You're going to need Red Script 0.5.15. And once you get those mods, all get to just go ahead and download them in your Vortex Mod Manager. I've done this using Vortex because some people don't like to mod it. The manual way they want vortex to do it so the way i done this is through vortex i can put one on how to do a manual but for right now we're going to use vortex so once you get all those in you get those mods in and that's going to be your core mods uh what i call core and sometimes you, you're going to probably gonna be needing different mods than what i have you're going to need more dependencies than what i'm using but if you need help with those Send me a message in the com. I mean, send me uh, something in the comments, and we'll get it going for you. All right. Well, once you get all those mods in, and they will be enabled. All right. Then you're going to want to go into your Cyberpunk um, down here to your shortcut for Cyberpunk. You want to right-click it. You want to go to Properties. All right. Once you get that up. You're going to go to this target box right here. And you're going to go to Cyberpunk, uh, Ben, and whatever. All this right here is just going to be in this. You're not going to have where it says modded on it. It's going to stop right there. So at the end of those quotations right there, uh, you want to put space minus space modded. Lowercase. All right. And once you get that in there, that's going to let you bypass red mods uh with some of your dependency mods because sometimes they just don't work so you have to bypass red mods so once you get that uh in that box you're going to be ready to bypass uh red mods dependencies um so once you get that in um you're going to go to your cyberpunk uh shortcut you're going to go to open file location you're going to go up to uh up two folders then you're going to go into tools, red mod, and then bin. Once you get into that bin file and tools, just click this address bar. It's going to highlight everything there. You're going to type in CMD. Hit enter. And that's going to bring you up to a command prompt that uh, gives you a command line uh, where you can control uh, red mod, uh, whatever in there. But once you get that in, you're gonna go and put in redmod.exe space deploy. Just like I got it right there. And I wanna copy that. And I'm gonna go click up here on this box or in this window. And I'm gonna hold down control and hit V. And that's gonna paste that into there. Now mine's already been done i mean i've already uh went through and done this on mine so i'm just going to hit enter and it'll do that again and it's going to show you deploying stage one of five and then other than that if you do this your um 
this red mod ti games 128 it doesn't load without doing this so once you get that in you'll see this right here and that's how you know you got it succeeded once you get that in you can close that box out right there now anytime you put another mod in that's going to be a dependency uh, of another mod uh, it's safe to say just go ahead and you want to repeat that process the same way I just done it and uh, It wouldn't hurt to hit deploy mods up here again. So once you get that right there uh, These are the mods that I've got every one of them is going in so I'm gonna go ahead and double click my game Now once I double click that Give it a minute now you have to watch in order to be able to see if everything's working so I'm hoping y'all will stay with me and bear with me until I get this going. But I'm showing you in real time. That way you know exactly that mine's working. Yours should be working exactly the same way too. Uh, hopefully yours will be working a little better than mine. If that's the case, then you make sure you let me know so I can uh, so I can get mine going right. But let me grab the controller. All right. Now, once you get that going, we're going to go into the game. Um, we'll go ahead and go into my last save. Hit continue. Now, I had so much problem with this trying to get to work and earlier, man. I just kind of almost give up on mods like a bunch of you did. But trial and error took me about a month of going through and doing this. I finally got them fine-tuned down and got them working. So now you can see my game's on, working fine. When I hit the tilde key, everything pops up. Everything right here, working right now. The better optical camo. For some reason, it says it's a red, red script extension not found here. But then at the bottom here, I guess it found whatever it needed, and it started working. So hopefully that right there will get all of y'all started up on your game and get it all going good. Um, if I can help you out further, let me know. And it's super pep. And uh, I'm glad y'all all decided to came over and check this video out also. And with that being said, I'm going to stop the video. And uh, happy gaming, y'all. Pep out.